Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Well hello everyone, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife I'm so glad you're here My name's Leslie, you're down in my kitchen down here on the farm And I'm thrilled to have you here If you follow me and if you've watched and have known You've probably already seen our chicken stew highlight videos or whatever. Uh, we have a chicken stew. But this, however, is Monday's video. Uh, but at the time of filming, the chicken stew has not yet happened. So that's what I'm preparing for today. Today is the day of the chicken stew. But I wanted to make some muffins. Now, I don't know if these muffins will make it out to the chicken stew. In case you don't know what a chicken stew is, it's a big community event we fix in these big cast iron cauldrons, um, 50 gallons of chicken stew. We invite family, friends, community, church, the whole gamut. And a lot of people show up, they bring a bowl, we eat soup, I make my famous firecrackers. And so it's just a wonderful time of fellowship. Uh, each person is asked if they want to to bring a dessert they don't have to but if they want to to bring a dessert uh, we are having a cake you've probably already seen this I'm telling you things that you've probably already seen but anyway I don't know that these will make it out to the dessert table but it'll be something my family can eat on or snack on or have a treat for a busy upcoming week so that being said let me tell you what we're making I had looked seen everywhere these starbuck copycat pumpkin muffins well so i was looking at the recipes looking and searching and searching and i came across one that's really not a copycat but it's of starbucks but it looked better to me so that's what we're making if i can find the link i wrote everything down if i can find the link where i found this recipe i will leave it down below if i can't i'll type it out for you however I am going to be baking it a little bit differently. I also came across this other YouTube who has, she has come across some tips on how to make muffins better and more beautiful. And so I'm going to be using her tips in this, to, in the baking process and everything. So that being said, let me get everything I need right here and we will get started. Okay. So here we are. I've got a bowl. We're going to just mix our flour, our dry ingredients first. So we are going to use two cups of all-purpose flour. I had poured up this flour into my container. And um, it didn't all fit. So I'm just using the bag here. So I'm sorry if I know you can hear it. So two cups of all-purpose flour. And in that, we're going to add, let me move my bowls here. In that, we are going to add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Whoa, I lost my handle there. Come back here. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Let me um, add my baking powder since I don't want to get cinnamon down in my baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of ground cloves. And a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And 
and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using salt because this does not call for butter. It calls for oil. So, um, therefore, we're going to just, I'm going to use the salt. Okay, so now we're going to also add two, one teaspoon of baking soda. So it was a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and we're going in with two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. All right. So what I want to do now is give this a little whisk, kind of mixing everything all up. And it smells heavenly. Y'all, one, one of the tips was to start off baking this at a high temperature. So I've got my oven preheated to 425. All right, so there is our flour. So now we're going to set that aside. And we're going to mix in our sugar and our wet ingredients. So we're going in with a cup and a fourth of sugar there's a cup and a fourth okay and to this we're going to add three-fourths cup of oil and you can use any flavorless oil you need if you've watched i have been making firecrackers and i use a lot of oil so i buy a cheap oil because i make so many um so i'm using continuing to use vegetable oil in this and because i don't think i have enough avocado or coconut oil would probably be okay in this i wouldn't call it flavorless but uh, it would probably be okay in a sweet dish like this so I am opening a can of pumpkin. We're going in with a can of pumpkin. Be sure you're using pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling. You definitely want the real pumpkin. Alright, and I'm just going to give this a good little stir. We're also going to go in with two eggs. And I'll get my hand mixer out in just a minute because we're really going to mix it. Now the recipe does not call for vanilla, but I'm going to add a splash of vanilla. But I'm going to go ahead in with our eggs and I'm just going to Break them right in here into my pumpkin can because then that can clean out any more pumpkin I've left in there. There's one egg. And two eggs. All right, there we go. I'm sorry if my microphone's hitting things. I've got it hit, I mean, set on my strings. <laughs> so there, it's a little loose. All right, so I'm gonna get my hand mixer out. I'm gonna get a splash of vanilla. Let me do that while I've got you on here. Just a little splash of vanilla. Okay, I'm going to grab my um, hand mixer and we'll be right back right here and mix this together and then we'll start on the cream cheese filling and the topping. So now we're going to mix in the flour into the wet ingredients 
and I've got my hand mixer over here I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some of this flour I'm gonna turn it on slow Add the rest. I'm going to scrape down the sides. And we're going to keep mixing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rinse off the beaters because we're going to need those again and I only have one set. I only have one set so let me rinse those off. I'm going to set this aside just let it rest and hang out while we mix up the cream cheese filling in one bowl and while we mix up the streusel topping in another. So for our cream cheese mixture we're going to put in a half of block of cream cheese and to that we're going to add a half a cup of powdered sugar there we go and I'm just gonna mix this you could add in a little bit of vanilla in this as well I'm not going to though This is going to be thicker than an icing. All right. Now that is done. Okay, and we're going to set this aside. I'm going to set this back here with the batter. I'm going to grab a small bowl and I'm going to get some butter out of the refrigerator. You need really cold butter for this. So in this little small bowl, we're going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We have two tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of white sugar. And we have half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I'm just going to take my fork and mix this real quick. Now we're going to add in some butter. I have some really cold butter right here. And I'm going to eyeball. You can, if you have sticks, they show you the measurements on the side. So, um, but I can pretty much eyeball. Two tablespoons of really cold butter. And I'm just going to take and cut it into little bitty pieces. Um, you don't have to do this. You can just use your fork to, to mix it in. But I think it gives it a head start. Um, if I was doing a lot more than this, I usually use my fingers to cut it in. Um, and just take my fingers and pinch it. I may end up doing that here. Um, we'll see. But I'm just cutting into little bitty pieces. And just dropping it down in there. And then we'll take our fork and cut it in. Um, like I said, if it doesn't work well with the fork, 
I'll go to me using my fingers because I can really feel and tell what's happening with my fingers better than I can a fork. And in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the utensils God gave me. And I can just kind of pinch that butter into that flour and sugar mixture and spice mixture. Now, you don't want to use the, your fingers too much because the warmth of your hand is going to melt the butter. You want it to stay pretty crumbly. But you just want to get some of that flour mixture um, coated, the butter coated in that into little bitty pieces. All right. There we go. That just helped it get a good start. And there's a few big pieces of butter. So I'm just going to find those and break them up with my hands. <clears throat> I have a blending fork, but I don't think this is enough to use my blending fork for. So, okay. There we go. I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to finish letting the dough or the batter rest for about 10 more minutes and then we will come back and put this together another one of the tips that they gave on making these um, super domed and beautiful like like gourmet looking muffins was to not put them next to each other or to <clears throat> maybe do every other one so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to use two muffin pans. Okay, so there's six. I have another one here. And if we have more batter, I have a few more of these. So let's go ahead. I believe it's been about long enough. Let me pull everything over here and we'll get started. So I have my pan here. have my oven preheated to 425. I have my pumpkin batter here. I have my cream cheese filling here. And the strudel is back behind me. And we'll get that at the very end. But I've got a large scoop and a little bit smaller scoop. And I'm not even going to fill this up. Just I'm going to just get a little bit into this. However, we will um, fill the pumpkin up. I'm going in with one scoop. And I'm going to do them all real quick. Or at least all in this pan. And I'm just putting one of these large cookie scoops in each one. We're going to go with more, so don't worry. We're going to go with more. Another one of their tips is to actually fill it up. Okay, so I'm going to set this down right here. I'm going to take my small scoop, and I'm not going to put nearly, I'm just getting about that much. And I'm going to put that in each each muffin tin on top of the pumpkin. <laughs> that one don't want to come out. Get in there. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is come back over here with my pumpkin. And we're going to finish filling it up with pumpkin. And because we've placed them, you know, far apart, it's okay if they rise higher than a normal muffin would. And that's what we want. We want that gourmet 
high top domed muffin look and supposedly these um, tips are going to give us that so we will see all right I'm going to actually do the other pan and then we'll come back and put the streusel topping on together Okay, so now we're just going to take our streusel topping. And I don't know really how much to put on each one. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit. Because I do have more batter and I have more cream cheese. So it looks like we're going to be making some more when these come out. So I've got 12 made so far, so I'm not sure how far this will go. I might could get, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. So these are going to go in that 425 degree oven. And this is one of those tips, so keep that in mind. I'm not sure how this is going to work, and this is not what the recipe says. But we are, are learning from a muffin um, baker. I think this is where this came from. Um, I saw it on another YouTube, but she got it from a muffin baker. Um, so we're trying it. We're going to try. And so we're going to go at 425 for about um, seven minutes. We're going to turn it down to 350 and do about seven to eight more minutes. Well, everyone, they came out and I think the tips and tricks worked. Super. I did have to leave the muffins in longer than uh, I originally thought was going to be needed. Um, I did seven minutes at 425 and then seven minutes at 350. They were not done. I actually ended up adding about 13 more minutes on top of the other seven. So um, it took a, probably 20 minutes at bake time once I turned the oven down to 350 so it took a while but i feel these super full so that's why because that's one reason why because by the recipe you don't feel it but half to three quarters full and i filled it completely full plus it has the cream cheese center and so forth so um i think they turned out absolutely beautifully um i got 12 done on the first batch and then three more to finish up the batter so a total of what 15 um i think it turned out super good so i'm going to get bryant in here in just a minute and he's going to give this a taste test while it's still nice and warm and probably ooey gooey on the inside with that cream cheese filling i'm going to clean up while he's coming in and uh, we'll see you back in just a second well, they're still nice and warm and really too early for us to peel the paper off nicely. Look at there. But um, we, we can't wait. Let me go ahead and cut this for you. Here we go. Cut it in half. Oh, 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 look, oh there. look at that. Let me uh, turn it so you can see it. See the center right there? They are warm. Can you see They are the still hot and that's why they're crumbly a little because they haven't completely set but you let them cool before you get into them but um right, we can't we wait here we go let's pull you in a little closer you want a bite nope okay all right it's all me now all you okay well i might take a bite <laughs> they smell good they smell like pumpkin oh they smell delicious <laughs> they are <laughs> oh that is panera who in there man that is delicious right there that that will make you the star of your fall gathering just definitely let them cool. oh yeah see it as it's cool and it's starting to peel off you gotta let them cool yeah we got a little too warm i mean we started messing with it while it was too warm mm. 
That it's is not good. too overpowering. The pumpkin's not too overpowering. Regular texture is good. That crumb top, the streusel topping, yes. just just. That's good, and I'm not a pumpkiny person, but that is really good. It's well balanced. You get a little sugar flavor in the topping, mm -hmm. and then you get the cream. The cheesy the, of the cream the cheese. Filling. This right here is phenomenal. It's good. All right, so are these going to make it to the dessert table at the chicken stew, or are some we going to save them for family some, time? <laughs> some of them. Some of them will make it. Hang I got to turn the oven down. Well, we got interrupted when we were finishing up the film and the taste test of the um, pumpkin cheesecake strudel muffins, but they were absolutely delicious. They ended up being a huge hit, and I never even took them out to the dessert table. People came in and got them, and they loved them. What did you think about them? They were delicious. They were delicious. So, okay, we're going to sign out now and tell you goodbye. Have a great day. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.